What's up, brown beauties and baddies? Currently, I am snacking on some granola. Before I get into this video, today I'm going a little bit shorter in my clip-in extension hair maintenance routine. Uh, the last vlog, you guys saw me doing my hair with the Olaplex treatment and putting in the Brown Beauty Body Wave 18-inch clip-in extensions. Today, I'm going to be putting in the Body Wave Brown Beauty clip-ins, but we are going a little bit shorter. We are going to go in with the 14-inch that kind of sits right above my boobs. Um... Right now, underneath my bonnet, I still have my leave out and I have my braid still intact. I did not rewash my hair since that video, which was about a week ago. I typically do my hair every week. So now that we are going into a new week, I am actually going to use the same braids. I've put the Mayel Organics Rosemary Mint on my scalp and I let it sit for some time the other day. Um, before putting my clip-ins on, I like to actually like give my my scalp some moisture with the Rosemary Mint Oil, give it some alleviation with the um, scalp care. So I also put some Mazzani Scalp Care on there just to give my scalp a little bit of alleviation. This has menthol oil, avocado oil, eucalyptus oil in it, so it's really nice for a scalp calming lotion. Then I put this bonnet on and I haven't touched my hair since. Now, before I get into everything that goes into doing my hair when it's already braided, it's how I refresh my leave out. So my leave out is typically pretty straight. It's not like my roots aren't heavily poofy or anything like that, but I do want to refresh it somehow, some way without shampooing my hair. So I'm going to go in with this Thermal Heat Protectant Spray by Redken. It's the number 11. It's an iron shade 450 heat holding spray. And I'm going to actually blow dry this in because I really don't love this formula because it's really creamy and it's really milky and I feel like it works best on dry hair. I mean on wet hair but you can also use it on dry hair. So I'm going to spray that in and then blow dry it using my Amico round brush and then my clip-ins are freshly shampoo and I love how smooth and silky they feel. I think that I like the body in them already and I don't want to like smooth it out too much. So I'm probably just going to use my Amica round brush to just bevel my ends a little bit and clean it up because I don't want it to be too sleek and too pin straight just yet. We are going to Chicago on Wednesday. Today is Sunday. So I need my hair to have a little judge before we hit the town. So without further ado, let's get into the dope. First things first, before you start doing your hair, make sure you turn on something good to watch while you're doing it. Because you will get bored. So, let me browse the internet real fast. It's Sunday, and a couple Sundays on, but, hmm, I don't know if I'm actually feeling it right now, because it's all wide, so I missed some of it. You know, why is it better, though? I need to spend all the time, take this whole time. Okay, y'all, so this is my weekly routine and my version of a protective style. This is the main reason why I love clip-ins because I need to be able to maintain my leave out and my scalp care on a weekly basis. My hair feels really good in this state right now. It's dirty, but it's not a month worth of dirt on my scalp. It's literally just a week and I'm okay with that. This is a really good refresher for the leave out to bring back its shine, to bring back its shape, to protect it and smooth it out with the blow dryer. It's my all time favorite thing to do when I am about to transition. Another thing with clip-ins that I really love is the fact that I can change the texture and the length in a short amount of time whereas if i had a sew in on top of these braids i wouldn't be able to change the parts i wouldn't be able to change the texture i would have that style in for at least a month or two and my hair is still being protected and it has grown so much
this will allow me to turn a one week hairstyle into a two week hairstyle. So I blow dry my hair to refresh it and add shape. I'm so sorry you guys have to hear the constant screaming. It is for It is football Sunday and the Bears are playing and my Bears fan down there is doing what he do best. Anyways, so I like to blow dry my hair with a little heat protectant to give it a little shaping. Um, put the shape back in it and you know all that good stuff and smooth it out because as y'all saw it was looking very bent out of shape and crusty so as far as my hairline goes I'm going to flat iron my edges to smooth them out before I start to add my clippings in so I'm gonna put this away oh I just recently got my ceramic I just recently brought home my ceramic plated flat iron. I usually use the Nano Titanium flat iron by Babyliss. Um, and it doesn't have any um, beveled edges. The titanium flat iron literally has straight edges. You cannot curl with that iron. It is strictly for straightening. Um, so I know that I kind of want to maybe have a little bit of bevel in my hair with this iron. Because the edges are beveled, I'll have a little bit more body and I'll have a little, little, little bit more curves in my hair um, because I do not want to, again, straighten my hair with this length. I need more volume to kind of sit. This flat iron also has a locking setting, so this little thing here keeps the, the clamp closed, so you can unlock it and it'll open up and then you can lock it and it'll stay shut. It also has this chamber on here for water because it's also a steam flat iron, which I use on my clients all the time who have really thick kinky texture hair it's a nice silking aspect and you can change the setting of the steam right there I am NOT using any steam in this video I'm strictly just going to use the flat iron part of the iron natural hair, protected it, smoothed it out. Now I'm gonna start adding the clip-ins. Now, when I add my clip-ins, I didn't explain this in the last video, but I typically like to start in the nape of my neck, closest to the nape of my neck, where it is like not as wide. So as you get past occipital bone, your temples start to widen and so does the back of your head starts to widen, but it's more narrow back here. So I use the clips with three on them instead of four and I use two usually on the sides and the three sometimes on the sides too so it's really hard to kind of show you guys how I add my clip-ins in an orderly fashion so um, I'll do my best in the future to try to you know implement that kind of thing
Okay, whenever I start to get to the top, I always, always go back and start to fill in any gaps that I may have missed in the back and where I can kind of make the best out of the fullness while I'm doing that. So when I get to this point of putting the clip-ins in, there's always this leave out situation where you need enough hair to cover this crown area, which is why my leave out is always so big because I like to fill all the way up until my part line. Um, and I also like to have a little face frame. Now naturally with this length of hair, I already have a face frame but I want it to be a little bit more fuller of a face frame. So if I add these two, then my face frame is obviously gonna go away, but I think I'm going to cut into these just so I can have the perfect face frame that I want. So, cause ooh, this is giving. I'm always very nervous about trimming my clips because you just don't know what effect that's gonna have when you need to put them back in. It's always gonna be some type of discrepancy of this part shorter, this part's longer, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So I often fight with trimming the ends. So these are my shears that you guys have seen me use before, has my name on them, professional use only, it's gonna, wait, did I stand on my comb in here? I do, uh, I've had these combs since I was in beauty school, I had this kit since I was in beauty school. I'm gonna plug in my Amika um, Blowout Babe Thermal Brush and then I'll begin 
begin to smooth the rest of my hair. this Argan Elixir by Balmain Paris. I used to carry this line for retail um, many moons ago, but I always love their Argan Oil Elixir because for hair extension, it just does what it needs to do. Notice a huge difference already. future having some layers in this like all the top pieces would be nice but I refuse to cut my hair to blend it and that's where my leave out is which sits on top so I would have to cut into my hair to get the layers and I refuse to do that because I'm growing it out so this is the best way for me to maintain my style for those of you who like your hair to be layered, I suggest maybe a wig. Now, usually using a heat protectant will help to shape the hair better. Like this is called Iron Shape. So this always helps to add, hold, and while protecting your hair from the heat, it also gives it some shaping while holding and protecting it from the heat. But I feel like this formula specifically has a very heavy consistency. This will make my hair on the oily side. See, it has a little milkiness to it. Oh, but this is an actual low hold. The thermal spray that I like to use, I ran out of. It's by Kenra. Um, and it works just really good. You don't have to worry about anything being sticky or anything being uh, weighed down. It just has a really good consistency. I hope I like the way this turns out because I've never done my entire head with these before. I usually just curl it all over and use this to kind of touch it up. Um, but I never just went in with this brush, but I know it's gonna give me a lot of volume because I don't want to lose the volume That's my biggest thing Ooh. Oh my gosh Okay, not bad Yup yeah. What do we think? Come on now. Can't say no to this body. Say no to these cubs. Love it. Okay, and the last piece. But look at that smoothness. And body, honey. love this for us but this looks much more natural and don't get me wrong I love my long clip-ins I'm honestly waiting to get 30 inch clip-ins for my birthday but honey I think for the holiday we are just gonna take her natural oh my gosh I love it okay now I'm gonna do the other side and then I'll be back 
Are you kidding? Baby. Mm. And just like that, I don't even have on any makeup. And the hair is speaking for itself. Yes. Mmm. Now I do think that my hair could actually use a flat iron. Like it needs to be just retouched up because my hair is actually very light and you can see it kind of like on top of the hair. But unless I'm actually going somewhere, then I'll do that. And since I'm not, I'm just gonna chill. But in the future, I do suggest doing that. I wanna see what Will gonna think, so let me put on some mascara and kinda of get myself a little cute to my eyebrows and see what he think. Okay, I put a little mascara on. Did my brows, I'm gonna put some clothes on. I mean, sweatpants. Babe. Alright, that is the end of this vlog, and I will see y'all in the next one.